Hip Flask is doing another record. <laughs> Any chance to hang out with these chaps and... Check solo. So, Adam, just tell us your name. Brendan. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My name is Brendan Clark. My name is Toby Hall. Roger Mannon, they call me. <laughs> not Brendan, not Brendan Hunter or Stu Clark or. My name is Toby Hall. Brendan, yeah, sorry, yeah, that's all right. Brendan Clark. Brendan Clark. Uh, my name is Stu Hunter. State your name for the camera, please. <laughs> my name is Roger Mannon. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, just so when we come to edit, we know we've got everyone's name. Okay. Like, you would have been Adam if you hadn't have told me you were uh, Brendan. Uh, See? See that? We caught it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and knowing that Rog was going to be gracing our shores again, it's always a, it's always a big moment for everyone here when he steps off the plane. <laughs> When I heard the band was getting back together for this recording, I was very excited and pleased to be playing with this group of fine musicians again. And Roger was actually staying at my place and he said, oh, you know what, I'm going to apply for a grant to see if we can do a hip flask recording. And he had about three days to do it and he, I think he thought that oh, it's, I'll just give it a go. It was a last minute thing and he got it. Yeah, so Three Around's got a very good reputation and Stu Highly recommend it. It's got a very good C7 grand piano and uh, it's got a uh, hammered organ there as well. So that's what we needed for the band. Oh, it was great. We hadn't played for a long time, but all the gigs we did before were always pretty, pretty fun. And so it was going to be. I, knew, I think we all knew it was going to be a good reunion. Basically, we, we found that the, there were certain types of compositions that, that really brought out the, that special shointy thing that we have as a band. And, um, and uh, yeah, it just seemed to sort of roll pretty quickly. We sort of got straight back into the way we play together, and which um, seems to be unique to this little ensemble. Um, well, it's called shointing. It's a sort of subdivision of that style. But I think uh, Roger is the one who's one of the leaders in that style of music. So, well, originally, and it's always been about this this band. My fo the focus has been on the groove and the blues. And my my line, my catch line used to be. This is 13 years ago. Um, simple compositions with complicated musicians. Yeah, you know, simple stuff and music that your next door neighbour can dance to, but the jazz lover will still appreciate. So really, we, we, I was trying to make, well, without selling out, I was trying to make something that was happy and, and, and danceable and, and groovy and, and fun. We had a chance to sort of really feel things out in the rehearsal room and then by the time we got into here, I felt like we'd already sort of hit our stride as a band again. Um, we had that, that communication and you know, there was, there was a bit of hooting and hollering going on and shointage and uh, joint, well, joint, it's, joint is a term that it's very hard to put a definition to, um, but I think, you know, words like exuberance, um, uh, heart, um, grit, filth all come to mind and uh, but it's the way they combine and coagulate that forms a joint moment and, and I think coagulation is probably a key to that especially with this lineup of gentlemen. One is just an idea and then there's that tune circles and clouds which is actually just pictures of circles and clouds just a picture thing and it's and, and that composition in particular is, is something that I heard for the band you know it's like if I'm going to take away all the the labels and the intellect and all that sort of thing actually write down what I'm feeling. Um, I just wrote down the circle and the cloud, circle, cloud, 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 circle, 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 cloud, circle. You know, 
people loved it, musicians loved it, and if musicians love it, then you know you're onto a good thing.